we talk. All right, welcome everybody to our Gather Round the Table class. So this is a really fun uh, new class that I just found from Grow Workspace. And it has some great ideas and recipes and tips um, that I love and I hope that you will as well. So I am sharing my screen tonight so that you can see these recipes and, and not have to scramble and write things down. So we all know that holiday seasons can be stressful and overwhelming. It can also be just stressful because of, even if we're not busy or buying things, it can be stressful because of family dynamics, right? And so I love that Young Living offers us so many things and so many ways that we can handle the holidays with grace and ease and really enjoy our time around the table with those that we hopefully love and care about. So um, oftentimes this could be also a season where people are like, oh, I'm too busy to share Young Living or I'm too busy, you know, I, I can't learn about something new or I can't tell anybody. And, and this is a class that is just really easy to incorporate Young Living into your lifestyle um, as, you, as you go about your holiday season. So I'm super glad you're here. I, am, um, I appreciate your time and we will hopefully uh, make good use of it while in the next half an hour or so. So we want to really get our 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 oils out. Um, you know, use them, share them with people, um, and you know, just really bless them with it. So no matter if the holidays are a time of peace and joy or a time of stress and apathy, now is the perfect time to get your oils out and use them. And in fact, if you haven't used an oil yet tonight, I would encourage you just to grab one. Um, oh, this is breathe again. So I'll just put some little bit of breathe again right here on my sinuses. And, um, you know, if you ever need a way just to kind of open your sinuses up, this is a great one. I love to, it comes in a roller normally, but it also, um, sitting on my desk is the 15 ml. So, and you know, sometimes you might, you may come with, well, okay. I'm going to jump ahead. I'm not going to jump ahead. We're going back to the script. Okay, it's important that we support our body during times of high stress, little sleep, long days, colder weather, and lots of close contact with people. Our immune systems and our really our whole body will need lots of love. So don't wait until you're below the wellness line to do something about it. Start now, be consistent. Your body will thank you. Your family will thank you. And um, hopefully, you know, life will go better when we're using our oils. So we can use our oils uh, to support our body emotionally and physically, and we can use them to clean our home and fill it with beautiful natural fragrances. So when you're prepared to have guests over, um, we want to not grab the um, potential harm, you know, synthetic fragrance filled sprays and plugins. Those are, they contain harmful ingredients that can potentially cause issues with breathing. I don't know if you guys have ever walked into a place where the plug in is there, you know, sprayed the air fresheners and it's can kind of take your breath away. Um, I have noticed when I'm around them, my heart will actually start beating harder. And, you know, which I'm, the more I'm learning right now about what my body's going through and, and, and supporting my liver, um, I'm having to give extra support and attention to my liver because I, um, of how the, all these chemicals in our environment, not in my home, but when I'm out and about are affecting my body and my heart. Um, and that combination of my liver is being overtaxed to, process through them and detox them. So we want to, you know, not only do those, those air fresheners and plugins and candles, um, cause contain harmful ingredients that can potentially cause issues with breathing, skin, hormones, heart, um, you know, our liver, every, it can really just affect everything. And so what are we paying for? What are we paying internally in our bodies for the price of our house smelling good, right? Or smelling like pumpkin spice. So instead of doing that, you know, you can grab your diffuser, fill it with your favorite oils, and we're going to share some holiday themed recipes that you can, um, you can use, including pumpkin spice, which we've done a whole class on. Okay. So the perfect time um, to support your body is now. Um, when, we when we talk about, actually, I think I just, okay, here's the screen I want to be on. <laughs> it's hard for me to do both things that I, I get confused here. Okay, when we talk about opening our diffuser and filling with essential oils, we don't just mean any oils. We mean Young Living, specifically Young Living essential oils that, um, 
are high quality and pure and we have the seed to seal promise, right? So unfortunately, not all essential oils are quality essential oils. Don't waste your money on something that could potentially do you more harm than good, especially during the holidays. And if you've been paying any attention in the last couple of weeks, there was actually a recall with a lot of oils that were sold at Walmart. Um, probably not a big surprise when you're when you're considering you're buying oils for you know four or five, ten dollars. Um, that are supposed to be high quality, that it's not a surprise to me anyway, that there were a lot of synthetic things in it um, that were causing respiratory issues and um, you know health challenges for the people that were using them. So Young Living is the only company to back their items with a seed to seal quality commitment. You can rest assured that you're getting a quality product made with the highest quality essential oils and other naturally derived ingredients. So here are just some of the strict guidelines that, that Young Living abides by to fulfill their promise in sending only the best products to your home. They have, they use plant material that is grown on corporately owned farms or carefully vetted partner farms that we can visit. Okay, so we, they actually encourage us to come to the farms, see what they're doing, see what it's all about, experience the process for ourselves. Young Living um, support sustainable farming and sourcing practices, providing the purest oil. They take great care to um, preserve and protect natural resources. We actually hand weed fields and use zero pesticides on our fields. Um, they either hand weed or they have actually some um, sheep that will, that will weed the lavender fields specifically because they will eat the weeds and they leave the lavender plants alone, which is amazing and a great use of, of resources, right? And then the, you know, when the sheep poop, then it just fertilizes the land even more. Um, our oils retain all their natural constituents and beneficial properties. We use the use of, have the use of food grade distillers with state-of-the-art design and distillation methods. Gary actually um, created many or, or all of our diffusers now, or I'm, no, I'm sorry, our distillers and um, has really, he, he studied and created so that he could get the best use and, and the most uh, plant material, or the most oils out of the plant material. We use low pressure and low temperature distillation without the use of solvents or synthetic chemicals. And we rigorously test each batch uh, by internal labs and third-party facilities. Our oils can be carefully or are carefully reviewed through every step of production in order to meet or exceed industry safety and purity standards. So it's beyond organic. The best part is that if the oils don't meet those standards, they're rejected and will not be bottled as a Young Living product. You can actually go to seed2seal.com uh, and check out all the process of that. Um, they have rejected, even when we've been out of oils, of, a, of certain um, single oils, they've actually rejected some of the, um, some batches that have come from other people because they're not willing to compromise on those values and our standards. And that is just, it's such a great, just security for me to know that, you know, when I get a bottle of frankincense, it's going to truly be the, whatever the, the, um, the species of frankincense, like this is Boswellia carteri, uh, it's going to be in, that's what's going to be in here. It's not going to be anything else added to it. It's just going to be that bottle or that oil. So when preparing our home for the holidays, it's important to set the mood and create an atmosphere that feels homey and inviting for your guests and your family. You also want it to be safe. Just like I mentioned earlier, don't grab the typical sprays and plugins that you find in the stores because that's not good. Uh, so many of those are filled with absolute junk and you do not want floating around in the air. The same rings true for most, um, for most household cleaners. Um, sorry, you guys, I just realized I need to change because we're gonna share, I'm gonna share some um, screens pretty quick here or some recipes and I want you to be able to see the whole thing. So let me see. Let's see if I can figure, oh, here it is. Um, okay. Hopefully that's small, just shows me, hopefully. Okay, um, so synthetic synthetically fragranced products emit a range of volatile organic compounds or VOCs. Breathing VOCs can cause eye, nose, and throat irritation as well as difficulty breathing and nausea. 
even damage to the central nervous system and other organs. Some VOCs can even cause cancer. So we really do need to be aware of these volatile organic compounds that are not organic in a good way um, and the dangers that it can, it can do. So it's super easy to replace all of those with a diffuser with high quality essential oils and a spray bottle. And of course, a bottle of Dave's household cleaner. So diffusing vaporizes essential oils and gets them into the air so that we can breathe them in. Young Living provides us with cool mist ultrasonic diffusers so that the oils are protected from heat and retain their incredible properties. Diffusing, and this is just one diffuser here. This is, um, I think it was called the Luster diffuser. And you can see it's just a beautiful little diffuser. It's actually a glass um, globe on the top. You just pull that off, you pull off this little um, thing, and then you fill it with water, put your oils in it, you replace the tops, okay, so that they're down and replace this, you plug it in, and it just, it's a natural air freshener, okay, we have diffusers everywhere in our home, um, if you're on here live, I would love for you in the comments just to type in how many diffusers do you think you have in your home, um, you know, do you have one, do you have three? Do you have five? I think I probably have 12 or 15 at this point. Um, because, you know, every time they, they come out with a new one, we usually end up getting it just to try it. And, and there are some that I have several of, um, because I really love them. And some of them, I, I have one, um, or even that we've given away. So diffusing also purifies the air with, it makes our home smell good without harsh chemicals. And it helps get those awesome oils into our lungs and into our nose reaching the limbic system, which can ultimately help support your emotions. Did you know that fragrances can have quite a powerful impact on your emotional state? They do. As soon as you take a whiff, the airborne odor mole molecules travel up the nose to your olfactory receptors, which then relay messages to other parts of the brain. Your sense of smell is the only one of the five senses that's directly linked to the limbic lobe of the brain, which is the emotional control center. So it might sound crazy, but I just want you to think about if this is all new to you, think about, um, did you ever walk into your grandma's house or into maybe at home when your mom or grandma or somebody was making fresh bread? And maybe you're just like, oh, you breathe that in. And you just think, oh, it just smells so good. And your stomach might rumble a little bit or, um, you know, maybe it's, it's, you know, chocolate chip cookies or usually it's food related for me. Um, and then just brings this great feeling of peace and love and contentment and, and you know, joy. Um, or maybe you walk in and, and it smells like a locker room and you're like, oh, Yuck, I don't, you know, because maybe it brings up some feelings of um, bullying or, you know, not such such great memories, or maybe just brings up feelings, memories of, oh my gosh, my kids' st feet stink, right? Whatever it is for you. But it, our sense of smell goes immediately to an emotion. So adding, just simply adding your essential oil drops to your diffuser, filling the wa um, water to the fill line and start diffusing can really... Um, create this cozy atmosphere for us, as well as just really emotionally support us. So here are a few really fun recipes that, um, you know, you, hopefully you have some of these oils on hand. Uh, if you don't, these might be some that you think, oh, maybe I want to get those next. Um, so some favorite oils to use during the holidays, as you can see, are citrus fresh, thieves, orange, lemon, um, vanilla, Peppermint, clove, citrus spirit, or Christmas spirit, northern lights, black spruce, cinnamon bark, nutmeg, and evergreen essence when it's available. Now, evergreen essence is only available right now with the macaroon or macaron diffuser in the holiday catalog. But I'll tell you, I love the smell of evergreen essence. So if you think of all the tree oils that we have, um, they actually distill all of the different branches together at the same time. It's the only blend that Young Living makes that they distill, that they create by distilling all the combination of the branches instead of just adding, you know, drops of each one into, um, to create the blend. So each batch of evergreen essence is going to be a little different and it's amazing. And it smells amazing when you are, um, when they're distilling it, if you can ever be around that. So these are recipes you could try in your diffuser, or you could use them to create an easy room spray. 
Um, with a small like two ounce spray bottle like this, uh, you just add distilled water and a splash of uh, witch hazel if you want, or at least distilled water. I just gently sh um, shake it or you know gently mix it. So if I was going to do this, um, any of these recipes in a two ounce bottle, I might you know take it times four or five, and um, add your uh, add your water to it, and then just smell it, spray it around, and smell it, and see how what you think. If it's strong enough, if it's not then you know, add some more drops. That's the great thing about this. You can adjust the amount of essential oils to your liking and get creative with it. So, all right, if you guys, if you've looked through this and you're like, ooh, I wanna try that one, I would love for you in the comments just to type out um, which one is your, which one sounds like your next diffuser blend recipe. Um, all right decorating our space. So for the fun part, or maybe from some of you are like not so much fun part is decorating. And oils can be a part of this as well. If you can get your hands on some pine cones, we have a great fun recipe to try. I think that's next here. Oops, what happened? Um, Okay, here's some cinnamon pine cones. So you can, um, I've picked up a bag of pine cones at Hobby Lobby this year, but you can get them from outside as well if you want, uh, you know, if you have, have trees around. And so if you do have, uh, if you pick them up from outside, <coughs> you wanna add um, a cap full of Thieves Household Cleaner to the water if you have it, okay? If you don't just, you know, you just, it's just kind of soaking them, getting them clean. Um, then lay them out on a foil lined baking sheet and pop them in a 200 degree oven for about 30 minutes. This just helps the cones open up and be ready for the oil to be put in them. Um, and you might want to do this even if you've, if you've bought them, you know, it wouldn't it, just to kind of clean, clean them up. So once they've cooled, place them in a Ziploc bag, sprinkle about 30 drops of cinnamon bark essential oil on the cones in the bag. Um, or cinnamon bark and clove. You could use Thieves, the blend, if you have that. That would be another great option. Let them sit in the bag for a couple of weeks. Place in your favorite holiday bowl and enjoy the amazing holiday scent. How easy is that, right? So it's kind of fun just to think through different things. We've I actually also saw a recipe using pine cones um, and some um, soy wax, uh, soy candle wax. And you could, you could add your oils to that and then make it into like a fire starter, okay? So you put the pine or the, the candle wax, you melt it, pour it into like a cupcake holder um, or, you know, well, with the wrapper around it, um, pour that in. You can put in like a, uh, some sprigs of evergreen if you wanted or pine cone. You could put in a cinnamon stick and then a little um, candle wick and then you could you could scent that with oils as well. Uh, you let those cool, and then that would be an easy fire starter if you were you know had a had a a bonfire or you know just a little fire outside your house. So one that you wanted. All right. So Ningxia bottle word art. This is another um, you know a lot of times we drink Ningxia red, and it's it's if you haven't seen it, it's almost like a wine bottle. I don't have any up here in my office. But if you've, if you've drank that drink, you know, it's so good. And then, and it's packed with powerful antioxidants to help against oxidative stress. Ningxia supports normal cellular function and it promotes healthy energy levels for the perfect way to sustain yourself during the holiday season. So we can chug the red, chug your Ningxia red and then save your bottles. And you could use them for word art. So just spray paint the bottles, red, white, or green, um, or wrap them in yarn or twine. And then you can add joy or peace, just the letters to each one, um, you know, and it, or family. I've seen them with family. I've seen them with blessed. It's really up to you and what you want them to say. Um, you, can, you can also kind of uh, glam them out with buttons, lace, rhinestones. You could do glitter. I hate glitter personally because it makes a mess everywhere, but it certainly would be pretty. Um, and then you can even freehand the letters on or use stencils. Uh, so fill the, the tops of the bottles with simple sprigs of greenery or holly berries, and you've got a beautiful oily decoration for your table or your mantle or wherever you want to put it. Um, Ningxia bottle Santa, as you can see there, is another fun little recipe. 
uh, that you can do. And these are just, again, some fun, easy ways to get started. I know a lot of people like to dry um, oranges, right? And, and string them up, maybe put them on the, make garland or put them on the tree. Um, you could also add, you know, there's um, wood sticks that you can add to your tree and put some maybe evergreen essence or, um, you know, some pine or something and add those into your um, Christmas trees for, again, a nice diffusing recipe. Okay. So if, if you have ideas on how to decorate for the holidays that you love, I would love for you to share those with us too in the, in the comments. So please keep adding your own comments as we go through this, okay? All right, next up is adorning the table. So we get to talk about food now, okay? If you have a favorite holiday food that you always cook, whether it's a treat or a meal, please share that. And if you have the recipe, thumbs up for you. Um, so holiday food is seriously my favorite. I love to bake. It's one of the few times that I really bake, but then I have to give cookies away or have to give the goodies away because I will eat them otherwise. Um, so we, you know, we baking or the holiday time is so rich and full of flavor. Um, but we often need moderation or you really need enzymes, right? So hopefully you will be stocking up. And if I can make one recommendation right now is essential sign four. So if these are in stock, you need to buy a box or two or three of these now so that you are ready for the holiday feasts when they come up and um, you know can help your body digest all of that food that we're going to be eating, especially if it's, if it's food that you're not used to eating, okay? Because most of us hopefully aren't eating cakes and cookies and, and pastries and stuff every day, um, or even just really rich, flavorful foods. And, you know, so it doesn't hurt us necessarily to eat them occasionally, but we need to really give our body extra support to digest them well. All right, so we can cook with essential oils. Did you know that? Uh, there's actually an entire collection of oils dedicated to ingesting, which is um, our vitality line. I'm looking to see if I have any. I don't have any up here. Um, it's, it looks like the same oil labels as um, any others. They're, they're five mils, but they're white. Okay, the bottle is actually white. And that just gives you an uh, indication that this, an easy, quick indication that you can take those internally. Now, the oil in the bottle is the same oil as what's in the, the label, the colored label. It's the same oil, it's just a different um, label. So if you don't have the Vitality version, you can in your own home use the colored labeled version if you want as well. Okay, so just uh, with any oil, we wanna start slow and remember that they're potent when we're putting them in our food or drinks. You may not need an entire drop. You might just need a toothpick swirl. So with that, you're gonna just take a toothpick, you're gonna stick it down in the middle hole, okay? You're gonna dip it in there and then that might be what you swirl in your batter or your soup or whatever. Because you may not need a whole, even a whole drop. Um, oregano is a great oil. Uh, to really boost our immune system, but it gives amazing flavor as well. But that's one that I would probably start with the toothpick in your spaghetti sauce um, versus a drop because a drop might be too much or you might end up with two and it can ruin the whole sauce, okay? So start slow, you can always add more. Um, okay, so a simple appetizer. Greek yogurt ranch dressing. And this just sounds so good to me. Um, and of course, if you have, you know, if you're like, well, I don't do dairy, uh, I know that there's, a, you know, there's oat milk and there's um, lots of other kinds of milk nowadays. So you might be able to find something non-dairy related to substitute. For sure, you could substitute out the yogurt. Um, I think that there are, are non-dairy buttermilk options nowadays too. And then you'll notice that there's three drops of lemon vitality, parsley, one drop, and one drop of black pepper vitality. So combine them all, tight fitting lid, shake until well combined. Um, you can use a, a food processor as well if you want, as if you want. And then a sweet and savory main dish, which sounds really good, is one skillet pork and apples. And you guys, that picture looks delicious to me. So um, again, we're using some cinnamon bark vitality in this one. So six drops of cinnamon bark. If you're not a big cinnamon flavor person, you might just start with one or two. You could, again, you can always add more. 
and um, see what you like. Okay. If you have a cinnamon allergy, you know, think something, think of something different. I mean, you could do parsley, you could do thyme. We have both of those actually as, as oils um, as well. You could do black pepper in this. So lots of different options here. Serving this with a fresh garden salad with dark leafy greens and some roasted potatoes. Um, well, <laughs> sounds really good. Um, and your guests are probably will feel right at home and really welcome and, and uh, wanted to be there as well. Okay, these recipes, oh, and it says they're from the Essential Oils Magazine. Did you know when you got started, you probably got an Essential Oils Magazine. I think we can still order them. Um, and that's a fun way to get some new fresh recipes. Okay, so keeping the kids busy. Boy, this can be an all day job in itself. And so whether we're trying to get presents wrapped or entertain children while we sip some wine with the adults or your favorite cocktail or beverage, these next couple recipes are sure to keep the kids occupied and enjoying the holidays right along with you. So here's a very fun scented shaping clay. And um, this is the one that you can actually make beforehand, make ahead of time and, you know, make it, mix it all in together. And then, um, you know, just keep it in a baggie. You can use food coloring if you want it to be colored. Certainly um, the really good essential oils would be, especially if, you, if you're gonna be in a room with maybe um, some littles that, you know, cry a lot or, you know, need extra attention, extra time. Um, would be peace and calming or lavender. Those are great ones just to, to mix in. And then as they're playing with this shaping clay, um, they, you know, you're, they're smelling the oils as well. And it may just keep things calm and, and really might just make it just nicer. <laughs> so this is one fun option um, that lots of people have done. Again, if it comes to, if it becomes too dry, you can add a little more coconut oil. So you don't have to throw it all away, which is super helpful. And then this is a fun DIY diffuser ornament. So this is actually, um, you can get terracotta air dry clay. So, um, in the picture there, it's white. You can also get it kind of in a um, terracotta color, which is a, a orangish red color. Uh, and it's a great way to, once they're dry, you use them to, um, you can add your oils to it. These are can make fun ornaments. So you could hang them from your rear view mirror in your car. You can put it on, uh, a necklace. We used to um, have a lot of terracotta necklaces, or you could do a bracelet out of it, that kind of a thing. So just think about, you know, different ways that you could use this. Um, you, if you're going to do it as an ornament, you just, you punch a hole in there, you know, so get a, oh, you could even use like a pencil or a, two, um, like a, oh goodness, I'm blanking on the word I want, um, an end of a paintbrush. Um, and then, you know, once it dries, you just thread your thread your yarn through it or your your string, and and you drop drip your drops of essential oils on it and hang it up. So these are really cute for a tree. Um, if you need something really quick and easy, you could always grab some clear plastic ornaments that are fillable and let the kids add pom poms, glitter, fake snow buttons. Um, those would make fun little gifts for grandparents and neighbors or teachers. Um, we, a few years ago, got just got some um, the plastic ornaments at Walmart and, you know, that would come apart and you could actually add a, like a, cup, a bottle of oil or, um, you know, and some felt or something to it so that it and give it as a teacher gift. You could probably even put in a toothbrush and toothpaste and some of those are pretty big. So and just, you know, think outside the box and really bless your bless your teachers or your, you know, your mailman or whoever with a little gift of appreciation. That would work for now too, okay, in, in November. All right, treating our guests. So we're getting close to the end of our class, but before we wrap it up, we have a few more recipes to share. So a holiday gathering would not be complete without a great dessert and a warm, cozy drink. And of course, our oils can be a part of this as well. So um, this is an apple cider uh, wassail you can make with apple cider and pineapple juice. You guys, I have made this just with apple cider and added the oils to it. Oh, it is so incredibly good. So don't be afraid, you know, don't, or I guess don't be afraid or don't stop. Uh, don't 
like, don't think, oh, I don't have the right ingredients to do this. You can play with this and you can make it into something that you want. So um, cinnamon bark, vitality, tangerine, clove, ginger, and nutmeg. Most of those were free last month if you've been a member with Young Living for a while. So you may have gotten them free. Um, with their, they were gifts with purchase last month in um, October of 21. So then we just stir these together. We actually put this in a crock pot. You can put it on the oven as well, but I like to leave it in the crock pot and just let it simmer and, and stay warm. And it is super, super yummy. And then we have, this doesn't wanna go, oh, blueberry crisp. This sounds good. I have not made this one yet, but I am excited to try this one. So it has lemon vitality, um, and cinnamon bark vitality in it both. And uh, this is, it sounds really, really yummy. So you could obviously use it with, oh my goodness, what's happening here? Um, you could use it with other, uh, I don't know what's going on. You could use it with other um, uh, fruit if you don't have blueberries. Oh, and it says raspberries there too. So don't be afraid to try something different. Okay. Food and decor are great, but we all know the holidays are about giving. So get, you know, we can always give our guests something that will benefit their bodies and allow them to see how simple it is to incorporate oils into their everyday lives. So just a couple of quick, easy um, sharing recipes here. Sorry about the lines. I don't know what's happening there. Um, this is luscious lemon bar soap. So you can use a, a shea butter soap base with luscious lemon and then some um, dried lemon zest. I think this sounds really fun, okay? Now I don't have a microwave, so you can melt this over um, the cubes. You, you can melt it. I would probably do it over a double um, boiler. So, you know, a pot with, wa with water in the bottom and then another smaller pot or, of some kind in the, um, in the hot water that you can stir and melt that soap base and create your own little um, so bars of soap to share with friends. And then we have eucalyptus bath tea bags. So this is fun to do. You can do it in a tea bag. You could also do it, um, just put it in a small mason jar, okay? And so um, don't, you know, again, don't stress out if you don't have the right carriers or containers. Mason jars are great to give gifts in. Um, you can even, you know, like this is just a tea, uh, uh, taper candle holder. But if I wanted to give that to somebody, you know, I could even put the, put these uh, bath salts in this and, and cover it up and make it as a, a fun little gift. So you think outside the box or the tea bag or the, the jar, if you need to, and just make it fun because the gift, if we really remember that the gift is from our the heart, um, it can take some of that, the pressure off. Organza bags are great, a, a great easy way to do this too. Um, and with the organza, organza bag or the muslin tea bag, you can just drop those right into your, your hot water and get ready to soak. Mistletoe lip scrub. You, have you guys smelled the uh, maple sugar, mistle, the mistletoe lip balms and stuff that they have? Oh, they are so yummy. So with this one, you can use, um, the organic evaporated cane juice crystals, coconut oil, and Christmas spirit um, essential oil. You could do it with vanilla and peppermint if you wanted. You could do it with um, citrus fresh. You know, really the, the sky is the limit to what you would choose to do with this. So that's another simple, easy recipe. They just threw that in a little mason jar. Um, you can put us, you know, a fun little cover over the top of it cloth or just seal it with the, with the mason, mason jar lid. Or you could even use a little, um, like a balm, a lip balm, or um, you can get empty lip balm containers on, uh, on Amazon or other stores. And then the last one I think is the mason jar hot cocoa. So this is not the most healthy one, but it is yummy. I have made this uh, in the past with, with powdered cream, creamer, cocoa powder, powdered milk, powdered sugar, and then you can add some um, Vitality oils to it, or you could just gift them a, a small bottle of peppermint Vitality and um, gift them some mini chocolate chips or mini marshmallows. And this is actually one I think that you kind of layer it in 
Um, so it's a super fun, easy way. It's, it's a very festive way for them to use, um, to enjoy a cup of, cup, a cup of hot cocoa. All right, so if you haven't had the chance to set up your own Young Living account just yet, now is the time to do that. So we wanna make sure that you have access to all of these incredible goodies that are sure to make your holidays even better. And now Young Living has made it simpler than, um, than ever where we can get started with any order. So we can just simply put our desired items in the cart and check out. If you choose to, um, you can choose to purchase 100 PV. If you do, then you unlock your 24% discount for an additional 12 months, which is amazing, okay? So it's 24% off of retail costs. Or if you don't wanna do a 100 PV order, you can place any item on subscribe to save and choose every one month, two months, or three months and unlock the discount that way. If you choose to subscribe to 50 PV of items each month, you will earn loyalty points uh, for free, more free product. And really, that's a whole lot of information that I just shared with you, but really we just want you to connect with whoever shared this event with you and find out all the details and get started with their customer number, okay? Because we are a relational business and we wanna make sure that you start with whoever shared this with you. So thank you so much for jumping in with me. Um, you know, hanging out. I hope this was helpful. And I hope you got some really fun, good ideas on ways that you can incorporate Young Living into your, into this busy holiday season. The oily lifestyle is meant to be lived um, really every day and all year round. So tap into that and utilize these incredible tools that we have access to. Stay healthy, stay happy, be a positive example um, and a positive you know, witness for other people by giving them hope and options for their health and you know, both physically and emotional wellness. It is possible to do that and to really enjoy life. So thank you so much. Again, get back with whoever shared this with you if you have questions or um, want to get started. And we would love to welcome you into our oily family. Have a great night.